This is a Rooster Teeth production. Bang, bang. Tow, bang. Hello, everybody, bang, bang. and welcome to I Have Notes. Uh, I haven't hosted in over a month. Uh, so first, I'm going to remind you that ExpressVPN uh, can protect you and your data. Uh, let's go to expressvpn.com slash RTTV. See, that was easy. I, it's like I never it's like I never missed a beat. And then yeah. also, uh, I think it would be great if, oh, uh, if you wanted to sign up, that would be awesome. Uh, uh, you can talk to us in chat. Accounts are free. Uh, and the, is it is the bit coming across that like I, I'm intentionally like doing a bad job at reading? Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Uh, last one. Uh, call out a specific. Oh, uh, wrestling with the week streaming now. Roost Teeth YouTube and all podcasting platforms. It's got all these wrestling. Scorpio Sky. It's got my favorite James and second favorite Willems. James Willems. Uh, <laughs> Check it out. If you like wrestling, if you like pop culture, Rassle, if you like wrestling, wrestling. wrestling uh, if you like all of that, uh, see, I went off book and I messed it up already. Hey, everybody. Welcome to I Have Notes. Uh, do you have notes about this intro? I don't care. Shut up. Uh, I'm back and I'm back with a vengeance. Uh, uh, this week, we have joining me as my co-host, Issa Badiola. Hello. Clap, 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 chip, 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 chip. What kind of chip you got there? What kind of chip you chipping on? H E B sweet onion, baby. Would you like a chip? Would you like a chip for some of your hard times? Oh, yes. A chip in these trying times. Isa, who's joining us today? We've got Aaron Wynn. Hey, I'm back at last. Aaron's in the house. And I finally got my fucking shirt. I don't know. I don't know what what God felt pity. Uh, but somebody <laughs> delivered me a shirt, so thank you. <laughs> um, side note, I've been messaging Erin privately just going on about how pretty she is. Right? She's so pretty. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Even prettier. <laughs> Even <laughs> And uh, with us today, you, also, if you guys haven't heard, it is Noelle Wiggins! Hey. What's up? What's up, everybody? Just drinking some um, Dang, some, Agua, vodka. some some H two O, some H two O. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm pretty too. I think so. At least it's my true. mom tells me that. Aww. I agree. So we so both have guitars good. in the background. We're definitely Whoa. dudes. We do. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. What kind of guitar is that? Uh, that is a uh, not Gibson, an Epiphone Les Paul, uh, monochromatic. Hey, it's a Les Paul. Yeah, monochromatic Starburst or whatever it is. That's all that counts. That's all that counts. Well, y'all can start a, a band. It's just an it's sure. just an acoustic. I Hell have yeah. acoustic. I have my electric right here. I have my strat right here. But my acoustic is is that right there. It's a really it's a cheap brand, but fantastic quality. Orange wood. That's what Orange Epiphone. Wood. Check it out. It's it's Check the it the like lower brand of uh, Gibson, but mm -hmm. I like it. But hey, again, it's a Les Paul, so that's all that matters. Exactly. Right there. Uh, how's everybody Le doing? Uh, anybody? Uh, how was everybody's power last week? We good? Oof. We are stable. I'm stable? stable. We are stable. Um, I'm I'm good, but I may have lied about it to get out of work. Oh. It's okay. They, don't, <laughs> they, they don't won't watch. tell. It's don't worry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nobody well, watches good, this. <laughs> 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 but I tweeted about it. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> Well, I I only lost power for twelve hours, and I didn't have water for over a week. I only got water back on Thursday, oh, yeah. geez. and then I got sick, and I thought it was COVID, but it wasn't. That's good. That's that's yeah. good. It was. Was it possibly a lack of water for a week? <laughs> See, I'm assuming fair. you found Honestly, other it's ways fair. to get water, but yeah, I had uh, so. My only source of water was to go to the one working unit my apartment complex has. They were kind enough to let us, like, refill water there. But wow. the largest container I have is just, like, a pitcher. And so that wow. would be, like, my limit I could bring back and forth. Um, wow. So I definitely woke up some mornings thinking I was, like, dehydrated. 
And then I did eventually get sick. So I was like, am I dehydrated? Am I sick? Uh, so You're I think it was stressed. Both. Yeah, oh, it was, man, it was lovely. Well, weakened immune system leads to yeah. To sickness. Also, when I went to go get tested for COVID, um, the doctor asked me, I told him I went to ATB and that's where I thought I got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's like, oh, did you test the, the softness of the avocados? And I was like really confused why what he meant. I was like, is this a new test? Like, are you going to, like, squeeze my arm to see if I'm, like, soft like an avocado? Yeah. Uh, no, I think he was just making a joke. Oh, okay. I was saying, <laughs> um, if, if a doctor ever asks if, if you're I, ripe, like, like, don't yeah, just if run. I, like, yeah, if I touched it and then I, like, rubbed my hands all over my face. I guess, I, I mean, that's a thing that people do that's already gross. It's just become that's grosser. Also true. Yeah. But I, I told him I did not. Okay. But I felt really dumb. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine like all the things that are weird now so like just like you said like you know checking the ripeness of your avocado yeah. or like blowing the candles out on a birthday cake yeah i wonder oh, if that's yeah. gone i wonder if it's just gone <laughs> it should be <laughs> i just want to i want people to start using canned air to like blow out candles <laughs> i feel like we could just make it more fun like make like get like a little like gun that shoots compressed air like that sounds fun. You can make it like it a does. thing. Uh, like the um, there was a I saw if you're Catholic, I saw a lot a lot of Catholic memes of uh, social distance baptisms with like the priest loading up the water gun with holy water. water and <laughs> <plastic cans. laughs> I fucking oh, love man. that. <laughs> I right. thought you were gonna say he loaded up with like hand sanny oh, and just I mean, like blasting people in the eyes with the hand God. sanny. Yeah, what, you, that's, <laughs> what it's, kind it's, of trick it's are you going Real to? holy water is. It's just <laughs> hand sanitizer. Yep. <laughs> I I just want to go back a second and Aaron did it did it <laughs> oh God yes. <laughs> I like how the mom's so happy that this is happening. Yeah. Fucking. I do mean, it. to be fair. I would be pretty ecstatic if I could get that photo. <laughs> I'm not even religious, but that just seems awesome. Uh, did it? Did it feel as uncomfortable as it sounds to be in a closed room with a, another human that you've never met before and have them ask you, "Did you squeeze the avocado?" Oh yeah. <laughs> That it was very uncomfortable. Atrocious. It, I was so confused, and I just already get like really nervous whenever I go to the doctors too, just because I'm like a pretty private person. Well, you're you're a normal person, is what I would I'm say. I'm a normal person. Yeah. yeah, thank you. That makes me feel better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then like I didn't have my mask on, and I wasn't sure if he would like want me to put it back on while I'm telling him like what's been up. Mm-hmm. But he didn't say anything, so I was like, "All right, oh, yeah, uh, you know best." I uh, we. We're not going to get into it, but uh, we're not going to get into it. Anyways. Uh, what? Uh, well, we have, on the edge we of have my a seat. prepared graphic, I'm just saying. We do, we? do technically. Uh, uh, let's let's just say Texas had some news today uh, a couple hours ago. and uh, Oh, that uh, news. RT's made a statement that we are going to continue to be uh, safe and work from home and wear masks. And I think you all should, too. That's all happy, I will say. Happy I'm gonna focus on the anniversary. Positive. Of working from home. Of working from Is home. Is it really? Or almost. On the 13th yeah. it will be for Oof. most of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I was actually out on on break. Oh yeah, that that's happened, right. So. <laughs> Wait, um, did I tell you guys my um uh how I converted to work from home dot dot dot? I think you're saying Catholicism. <laughs> 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 well, first off, the priest pulled up with the water yeah. gun. <laughs> I, could, yeah. I converted when I was a baby. Yeah. yeah um it, but I, uh, what is it? Maggie I, came over and squirted you with a water gun. With a water gun, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then I became a Catholic. Um, How'd you convert? Uh, <laughs> convert. Um, I went to California, like, actually, it was a few days, uh, uh, a year ago, um, from now. Went to California where the outbreak <laughs> was first reported. Oof. Um, yep. and so I came back, and they, at that time, they had the whole, like, oh, we're, we're, probably going to ask people to quarantine but it's voluntary quarantine so if you think it's bad then you should stay home for two weeks and we're like okay so uh i didn't or sorry i did i was kind of directed hey you should go home and i go Mm -hmm. fine okay i'll go home uh and that was like around the time when i was doing a move too so that was very stressful and then i come back to work just to be super clear to you i I don't mean i'm sorry but i just like this is also before we knew anything really Mm-hmm. Yes. And like yeah. didn't actually know obviously didn't know how serious it was going to get but also like didn't know what was real or not. Mm-hmm. So I was yeah. like mm-hmm. 
okay, I'm not sick, but I, I sure I'll go home, I guess, you know. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just want to like, I want to give context to that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely like not a thought, right? Yeah, or yeah, it was yeah. just, it was just like, like, wow, that hmm, seems kind of like overkill, but okay, that, you know. Yeah, it's like, oh, hmm, dot, dot, dot. And then I come back to work after quarantine. And then hour two of working. No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hour no. two of working. I go into a meeting room because they say, hey, uh, we're all going to work from home pretty soon. So you need to leave. And I go, oh, OK, uh, this is it. All right. And so wow. uh, happy anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Did you take your stuff with you, like the stuff on your desk? Oh, I left all my shit. I left a lot of my stuff. Lo- I did. Stuff still there. Yeah, yeah I did got i got permission to go back recent or recently as in like a few months ago or like a month or two ago i got permission to go back and i like grabbed as much as i could um i definitely uh decided not to sanitize and just throw out my water bottle though because that was uh, i oh i'm so worried that like my water container is like moldy or some bullshit i can't remember like what state i left my desk in because i had to leave (laughs) The, the day we started working from home, or, like, we're told to, that was the day I had to leave for, like, a family medical emergency, not yeah, COVID-related. Right. So I just, like, left also probably within hour two of the workday, and I just, I didn't, like, prepare at all. So yeah. Yeah. I haven't I haven't been back since. Yeah, I, um, I was on vacation, so it was just, like, I was expecting to go back in the office. I, I think I was on a two-week vacation. But I was just, not. I was at home, but uh, I think it was, like, the end of the first week or something was when it happens. Like, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I've gone back once to get some figures. Uh, <laughs> the, the way I got the children. news, the way I got the news for, for working from home was my girlfriend is is a nurse. And so mm-hmm. that was like very, you know, generally known across like the department I worked in. Because at the time I worked in live action. But I remember coming into work and walking into the room. And I'm not going to say who because I love these people. And rightfully so. They were rightfully worried. But I walk in and they just go, hey, man, um, your girlfriend's like a nurse, right? Oh, no. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, so that means she like works in a hospital right and i'm like as nurses do yes <laughs> and so like it was a series of these questions and it just ended up going okay cool man that that was all we needed now appreciate it and then i just walk around go to my office because i had an office at the time it was so dope and and, and then <laughs> <laughs> which i don't now um but then next thing you know yeah i get the talking to just like what you said isa where it was like a hey so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna work from home pretty soon but uh we you should kind of go now, you know, just, just to be on the same. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, word, word, word. All right, mm-hmm. all right. But the thing is, I took it okay because I just felt like it was like leaving school early, you know, like right. almost like a a, a oh, snow yeah. day, but a fun snow day. But then that <laughs> snow day lasted 365 days. Yes. <laughs> well, see, at first they were like, oh, it's only going to be for like a week or two or like a month. And then yeah. a year later, we're still here. here. We are. Yeah, I remember, I remember like, a month after you know working from home just going man final fantasy 7 the remix coming out oh that my was, god it felt like 10 years ago at this point but it was wait not, that came it out was, in the pandemic yes yeah, yeah like yeah, april like, 10th i yeah, think yeah because like i had to go to <laughs> best buy and i had to do the whole like i had to do the whole weird thing where like <laughs> It was the first time I ever shopped from uh, like curbside because I didn't know what to do. And, but yeah, it was like April 10th, I think. In the chat, someone someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm feeling Sounds pretty right. good about that April 10th date. It was yeah. definitely April April because every, every worldwide was like March and then we got yeah. it late. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. My sense of time is so. Yeah. Is I mean, so I think broken. to be fair, I think everybody else is is carry. So don't yeah. be done. Remember when game the Game Awards happened and um, they were like showing the nominees and stuff? And I'm pretty sure there was a collective like thought when they saw the nominees for Game of the Year and they're like, wait, Final Fantasy VII Remake was the same year as Animal Crossing and Hades? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little and fucked up. Fall Guys and the, I guess, resurgence oh. of Among Us. Oh, God, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just aged another ten years right now, well, basically. Hey Noel, that was a great segue <laughs> though. Yeah. Uh new new episode, and I definitely I know everything's gonna happen because I've finished it already. Wait, what? Oh, you have the PS5? That's right. No, I'm I so I, I still have not sad. finished the remake that's out so okay. far. I feel bad. I'm I'm working on it. Maybe I'll start I'm getting closer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna 
side tangent just super quick. It have y'all ever found a solution for the thing that happens when you get a third of the way or halfway through an RPG, especially a JRPG, and then you take several months off, <laughs> and then you this. go to play again, and it's it's like you're reading another language. It's like you've never played the game before. It's like you've never played a game. How do you get back into it without starting over? Because I've done I, that with Nino Kuni I too. Over. Yeah, I would start over. I've played <laughs> fifty hours in that game twice and never Oof. gotten further because I had to start over. Oof! I don't want to start mean, Final Fantasy VII remake over. I mean, I'll say this: like way back in my in my early teens, when I <laughs> when I first played Final Fantasy Tactics, I loved that game so much that I would purposefully not beat it. But I would get to a place where, again, you know, because like we're we're all filmmakers here, we're all content creators here. You can kind of feel when you're getting to, to like certain little like you know you oh, have yeah. your midpoint, you have you know yeah. like you have your inciting incident, all that jazz. So every time as a kid, I would I would feel like I'm getting close to the end. I would just stop the game, like delete my my memory card because you had memory cards back Whoa. in the day with just blocks in it. Uh, it was like what like eight megabytes. Anyway, moving yeah. on past technology. Like hey, why that. don't we create and an arbitrary system? Blocks. <laughs> yeah with blocks blocks 64 blocks in this one and you're just like ooh, that's a lot right but then they're like nah 128 blocks anyway and then they were sorry going back to it then they're like we're gonna mix our memory card with our rumble pack do you remember that that was a time that was a time i love it i was like yo we're in the future right now bro the rumble packs are in the memory cards i anyway. i love i love how weird nintendo gets they went crazy. Just old I'm consoles sorry. in general. Yeah. They but yeah, I would crazy. just, honestly, I would start over. Uh, yeah. But also, I don't play that many JRPGs. Uh, and the last game that I, like, stopped playing and haven't returned to was Metal Gear Solid Five, where I got exactly at the halfway point, and I was like, I okay, mean, I'm- if it's a if it's a Kojima game, you might as well get, like, Men in Black memory erased and start over <laughs> life yeah. again. To it's go been back so over. long. Again, I really enjoyed that game, but I got to a point where like the story felt like it concluded and I took a break and I just haven't gotten back to it. Yeah. But with Final Fantasy, I'm enjo- kind of like what Noelle said. Like, I'm really enjoying it and I don't want it to end. So I'm like doing all the side missions yeah. and I'm like taking yeah. my sweet ass time with it. So maybe I'm like I- halfway through, maybe. Maybe I'll start over. It's I'll I can't with, it. With, <laughs> with Final Fantasy VII Remake, the thing that I did wrong was I'm really bad about like just playing games like consistently like for me with specifically with the remake Mm -hmm. i would play it only on the weekends Mm -hmm. but the downside to that is you know how like you you play a game long enough that you become so cold at the game that like you're you're like you're literally like rolling you're dodging you do everything like all masterfully and you feel like a samurai literally all that stuff i never got to that point so every time i would play every weekend i would just be trash the entire yeah. time and so i'm always just constantly getting my ass handed to me okay by i'm these not the only one effing rats <laughs> by these rats in the, in the, in the freaking slums and i'm like yo i'm not enjoying this so like i need to like designate an entire like paid off vacation and then just be smoked through yeah. the game but yeah I, i've definitely like walked back like how many games i'm playing at once just because if i mm-hmm. spread myself too thin i'm gonna get mm. um but I'm almost done with uh, Bowser's a Furry. Um, and I think once I'm done with that, maybe I'll switch over. Um, Gay Furry Bowser. <laughs> uh, it's a really good game, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. For some reason, I didn't know it came out. Yeah. I'm glad you said that because I'm in the same boat. Because <laughs> well, I mean, so we it, started... it comes oh, with God. whatever the other game is. Uh, um, Super Mario World. World. 3D, oh, 3D okay. World. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. We started talking still... about Final Fantasy, and then we didn't continue, or we didn't say what the news was. There's a new episode. I don't know anything about it. Who does? Oh, on PS5. Yeah, it's um, on PS5, and I'm really sad. So what the what is the? It's like a free update to. It's like a whoever. yeah DLC continuation, but it's not like a full part. It's like the next chapter, right? Yeah. 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 Or it, maybe even like a bonus chapter, almost. Yeah. I feel like, um, and it's only for people who have a PS5. <laughs> I, I think that's how I'm reading it. Oh, really? It's oh, that's sounds- is it really? Pretty much a yeah. PS5 exclusive, right? Um, At the moment. Dang. And it's Yuffie, and yeah. there's she a new so character on there. So, uh, I forget his name. K- Kusakabe. Um, but it's Yuffie and that guy. 
and uh, he came on screen, and I was like, "Who that?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Who not out you? yet. Also, my bad. Yeah, it's okay. not out yet. June tenth. Um, yeah, they announced a bunch of Final Fantasy stuff. They did. Like, there was like a a, a remake for the game. iPhone. A remake for the iPhone. Uh, we saw that, and I was just like, "Oh, they're doing. They're pulling a Final Fantasy 15 for this one, because <laughs> they did the Final Fantasy 15 game, but for the iO for the iPhone or the but mm-hmm. for the iOS." Oh, yeah, that one was cool. Yeah, that was. It was can pretty I, interesting. Go ahead. Can I say this? Maybe this is a hot take on it, but right. the but the the remake that they're doing for iOS and and like mobile, that's actually what I wanted. <laughs> I, I didn't, I mean, like, I love, like, updated graphics and all that stuff, but, like, I really just want it, I want the realm where, like, like, Cloud's hair is still made of, like, Five four, polygons? <laughs> yeah, four spike polygons or whatever, mm-hmm. like, that's what I really wanted. His, I wanted Barrett's fist to be this huge block that he just goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it almost, it sounds like, in some ways, I don't want to put words in your mouth, what, is what you want, what they're doing with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Well, uh, where that was they insane. are almost it's the same. same game but they've like updated the graphics a little bit but it's still like stylized you know what i mean and people are still mad even though yeah. why Nintendo gave them what they wanted why it's good i don't know I, again i'm not a huge Pokemon why, why are you mad fan. I don't know. so it's two Pokemon. Things. two things one waitlist w in chat correct uh said uh the name is sonon kusakabe thank you very much and uh-huh. then two um Everyone didn't like the chibi figures in the Pokemon and the new Pokemon Diamond and uh, Pearl. Or really? Uh, and I was like, oh, I actually kind of liked it. I was like one of the few people who said, oh, I think that's the animation that the chibi figures are cute. And everyone's like, this looked like Roblox. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that was bad. <laughs> I almost tweeted this, but then I knew somebody was going to say that I was just looking for attention. So I didn't do it. <laughs> Does anybody <laughs> else? Point of tweeting, though. When it when it comes to Pokemon news, specifically, does anybody else see the announcement and then go to Twitter to see if they're allowed to be excited or not? Oh my god! Because that's basically what I do. Is I go, I almost every announcement, I go, oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's not. I hope I'm allowed <laughs> oh, to like man. that. Man, <laughs> I guess I'll just shut up. That's me when any movie or game gets a bad review and I like it. I'm just like, oh, I, was yeah. I not allowed or not supposed to like that? Yeah, I guess oh I God. suck. Okay, cool. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, can we just like things? I don't know. I think we can like things. Uh, just don't share it on the internet. Just yeah. don't share so, it on the internet. So, so real quick, Claire, can you clarify for me? Like, because because I missed that whole like direct. What's the one where it's the open world? Like, is the is the remake that you're talking about uh, that's oh, different from the open that's world different. one? That's I didn't different. catch it. There were three things that they talked about during that. One was Pokemon Snap Two. Because I also missed it. Because wasn't it like seven a.m. our time? It or was very like that? early. Yeah, I don't. It was. I, it's like it was. Uh, it was eight or nine a.m. Yeah, that's that's basically seven a.m. Um, so they they announced they did more about Pokemon than that they announced Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Yeah. Which is a mm. 3D remaster, I guess you would call it. Yeah. Of of Diamond and Pearl, it looks like it is like the same game, just with new graphics. Um, but not full on like Sword and Shield graphics. It's still very like isometric above, um, and and more chibi, which apparently people hate. Whatever. Um, and then what's the new <laughs> game? Uh, it's like the something uh, Ar- like Arceus. Is it Arceus? Uh, Lar- is it Arceus or Arceus? I never know how to I say don't know. that. Arquis. We're definitely oh. Pokemon fans over here. Uh, well, here, Pokemon I'll, Legends. I'll be honest. Arceus. I'm a Gen One. I'm a I'm a Kanto and Johto kid. Like that's yeah. me. That's <laughs> I am a Pokemon Johto, uh, which by <laughs> the way is the can, greatest. Can we sing the theme, the theme song? song? Oh my god. Yeah. Can right. We, no one no, watches gonna, this, right? Can we, can we do? Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be too good. That's the problem. Sorry. I uh, I'll say it uh, mainly because I feel comfortable now that you said it, Noel, and I feel like you'll back me up. I my personal take is that uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the best Pokemon games mm. that have ever been made because they're two regions in one, and I think they even had some Gen three Pokemon in it because it was the remake and it's just like good graphic like it's just updated. It's like I feel like those are like and they all all the Pokemon fall behind you like every single one of them do. That was very cute. Yep. I think I think was. it's the best. I think it's the best. It's what one. we. It was like it was like one of the first times. It was like that's what we wanted, Nintendo. You were listening to us. Were, yeah, <laughs> I wanted them to be behind me the whole time. That's yeah, true. man, not just Pikachu. But, uh, but Rand, 
Wait, go ahead, Issa. I just wanted to say that the game I played the most is actually Ruby or Sapphire. Um, oh, man, I missed that generation. The Pokemon, it was the Sinnoh region, right? I think. Um, oh, no, Hoenn. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I think it was Hoenn. Um, N- uh, yeah, you're, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's the one with the contests because yeah. I played the contest, Pokemon contest so much and I made so many poffins out of all these berries <laughs> because I really wanted uh, to get, what's that like pretty... Damn, I forgot. There's this Pokemon where if you fed them enough beauty poffins, they they evolve into uh, a Pokemon, and it was the best Hypno. one. Anyway, no, no, <laughs> <laughs> and yes, no. <laughs> um. Anyway, that's it. That's my Pokemon country. What what console was that? Or like handheld? Was it was that the GBA? GB, yeah. yeah, GBA. In my opinion, the greatest like handheld console, like ergonomically, it was like perfect. Like the way <laughs> that like. Perfect. Everything about like the Game Boy Advance to me horde. was just just horde. It was horde. It was like it was probably the one console that like or handheld that I really believe if you dropped it, it, <laughs> it, it wouldn't really break. Because yeah. like, I I yeah. thought initially when I was younger, I initially thought that the uh the Game Boy Advance was inferior to its later counterpart, the SP. But have what you ever dropped an SP before? <laughs> But that's what I thought. That's what I thought. But then when I dropped it, yo, that thing. See, this that's is the good rat, one, bro. I so I agree no. with you on the ergonomics. I really do. <laughs> ergonomics. But the screen on the SP. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the screen, yes, right. The screen. But again, when you're when you're a kid, or if you're like in your tw- tweens or whatever, you're gonna drop stuff. It's just a part of your nature. You can't be trusted. You can't be trusted to make any type of like adult political decisions or anything i wouldn't even drop it i'd throw it on the ground but like look at my by the time i got the sp i'm even like putting my hand in the same air my like my hands already hurting looking at it like the the, (laughs) like the the little like trigger like side triggers man that was that was terrible the only thing good about it was the screen and the backlight but Uh, and then they came out with like a nintendo uh uh like skin for it or I i don't know if skin's the right word but anyway I just thought the GBA was probably the best ergonomically. And yeah, you could literally launch that thing like Team Rocket and it would survive. <laughs> it, it was so good. So good. But uh, that's my own. That's I, it. Those are my thoughts on GBA. <laughs> you can, uh, if Brave you want man. to these days too, you can like uh, get like screen kits to oh, like yeah, add, that's right. add to it to like make it the better one. I, I'm officially, I won't talk about it too much, but I'm officially into like emulators a ton now. Uh, oh yeah that's right because there's like there are a ton of uh really cool like consoles out now like i have a game boy that has like six buttons on it and two trigger buttons and like i don't know i love it i buy the games too (laughs) all right you're allowed Uh, allowed. hey i have something to talk about hi let me look at my notes real quick hang on i'm sorry (laughs) can i have one week where i can look at the notes oh no oh no I found it's it again. Missing. I lost it. Hey, everybody. Um, this Friday, I made it too small. I'm sorry. This Friday, right here on RTTV, if you're if you're watching this live right now, uh, at 1 p.m., uh, we're going to have the uh, Black Heritage Month virtual block party is going to support the NAACP, LDF, and the AAUL. Um, you can donate at receipt.com slash donate. Um, we're trying to get, uh, I think it was $15,000, uh, and that money's going to go to, yeah, the NAACP and the Austin Area Urban League um, to, support the, to support the snowstorm recovery. Um, definitely hard on people in Texas, so uh, the more, uh, the better. We really appreciate it. Um, it would also be really cool if you, ha- or you aren't yet, yeah, if you want to be a first member. Uh, that money goes directly to shows that you like, like this one, and uh, you know helps us keep making stuff uh, for you. And then you get to see it first. Get it? Mm. Uh, uh, I We probably have free trials and stuff too and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, please become a first member and please donate. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much. Have you ever got on a streaming service and just been like, uh, uh, and trying to find something to watch and you just scroll through everything and that's a stupid situation. Don't do that anymore. Go to HBO Max and you can take a quiz even an astrology quiz, which will use your sun sign, which is apparently just your astrology sign, and suggest shows to you. It's crazy. They have uh, awesome systems and quizzes to help you find content that you might actually like, rather than just mindlessly scrolling through lists that are curated by robots. HBO has curated stuff with humans, 
that hopefully you will enjoy and that is such a better system than just dreadfully scrolling through the same stuff, hoping something catches your eye. So don't do that. Go to HBO Max, take a quiz, find some content you enjoy, and sign up for HBO Max and you'll get seven days free. With HBO Max, you can stream all your favorite shows on all your favorite devices, download top titles to watch on the go, get bingeable collections by handpicked by humans, not robots, which is very important. Check out the link in our description to find out more about your cosmic watch list, watch list and uh, be sure to sign up and start streaming all your new favorite shows and movies. All right, what was next on our topics? One last thing I'd, I'd like to bring up about, since we were talking Do about it. Pokemon, with with the with the um with the uh the 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 open world uh pokemon my fingers helped me figure this out yeah um, the with the open world uh, pokemon game i thought about it like you know on paper it sounds like a good idea but like can you imagine if you were really walking that world and you just rounded a corner and ran into a effing scyther oh do you know how terrifying that would be if oh you just God. walked around that corner and all you heard was scyther <laughs> and like, that's terrifying i just i don't want to live in that world is what i'm saying i guess now, that's my last thought i had on now that. slight slight idea i have notes uh something that might make that a little bit better that's when you pull out your gun <laughs> <laughs> and now you have a gun against the scyther <laughs> That's I might do fair. some anime bullshit where he deflects the bullets back at you. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna cut it in half. He's that gonna cut it in awesome. half. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I am. What if you got robbed by a scyther? Like, what would you do if you got robbed? Or, or like, you were walking backwards and then like a Doug Trio trips you, and then it's a whole setup, and then literally the Squirtle Squad comes through. Oh God. Bro, that's so like I don't want to live in that world I just where I get robbed myself. by a yeah. bunch of squirrels. I don't give them that. <laughs> like, please take it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave the village. No, <laughs> I. I am really curious to see how the actual gameplay is going to work, because one thing that tripped me out, and I, I will say, I only watched the trailer. I didn't watch any more of the the direct. I just haven't had time, um, so I don't know if there's much more. But like in the the trailer, like the footage they're showing off, like it, you just threw pokeballs at them, and that doesn't seem fun. <laughs> Unless that's going to start a battle, and that seems fun. But anytime, like, I, I like the like the Let's Go games and stuff, but, like, I I play Pokemon to collect and to battle. Yeah. And I just don't have high confidence in a controller scheme and setup that makes throwing Pokeballs feel good enough to mm -hmm. be actual gameplay. Because mm -hmm. Let's Go had the little Pokeball that you could get and throw, and I did that, oh, and it God. was awesome. That felt good. That's, uh, that sounds dangerous. No, I had a little you threw it. Oh, you okay. strap well, in. Oh, okay. Like okay, that okay, stopped okay, anybody okay. before okay. from like destroying their TV with the Wiimotes. That was the yes. problem. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't secure it. My TV is great, and my heart is full because I've done this okay. and a Pokemon caught. <laughs> now, did the Pokeball then fall and hit me in the arm? Yes. Oh, yes. Ooh. Yeah. Did it ruin the magic? A little, <laughs> <laughs> but not much. Here, I, I have some final notes for Please. Uh, on top of that. Onions? Um, so here are my onions. <gasps> in in the world where we talked about, is it okay to like things? Yes. Is it okay to not like things? Here's where we're at. Because I saw this open world thing. And then you bring up a good point, Carrie, about the gameplay. Because I'm also kind of just like, wait, this doesn't even seem as immersive. Mm -hmm. What what does that? Hmm, but you can roll. I don't know. You could like why not? Which means they're gonna mess you up. Why why would we have Pokeballs if we're supposed to kind of be in this like period era, right? Right. Uh, isn't the whole point of this period of time kind of negating the idea of technology? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so there. Oh, you're gonna lasso them. Excel. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> wrestle them to the ground like wrestle them to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> there is like lore already that's set up in the um in Johto, uh, where they talk about how uh, the apricots, um, apricorns, apricorns, um, in ancient times, quote unquote, they used them to make Pokeballs, and that's why you have all the different types of Pokeballs. That's right. Um, but I'm also kind of just like, I don't know, why couldn't we make Pokemon friends like how we make Persona friends, or how you get mm. Personas in Persona, or... You know, you have monolith soft under your belt already. Isn't there a way to like 
utilize such a system so you can befriend Pokemon without or getting them in your party and letting them follow you without the use of a Pokeball. Yeah. Uh, and then also I'm, I realized that the limitation is more so in this idea of the demographic. Um, I'm, mm. It's like, I don't know if they're really necessarily thinking that far into whether or not it's like the audience is gonna accept it or if they're like, they'll they'll spend money on whatever it is. So I don't know how far, how like deep really they're thinking I mean, if the game this. came out tomorrow, I would buy it. There you go, Carrie. <laughs> also, I had no idea you... Pokemon had all this lore. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's they kind knew... of wild. Why? When did this happen? <laughs> yeah, because like we should, uh... we should, uh, we should email Nintendo and tell them to put a gun mechanic, because then that's what will be the. <laughs> you just force them to be your friend. Like yeah. Carrie had it. Yeah. Carrie had one hundred percent. Yeah, I, well, I forgot about the period arrow. So gun. bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Arcabus. I yeah, isn't Arceus or whatever Ar- Arcus? Uh, Ar- they're like Jesus, right? What? Yeah, they like created all of the Pokemon or something. Yeah. Did um, you? Um, shit's crazy. Terminal. There's too much. Terminal Pokemon montage. It, there is. Terminal montage had a, a very good uh, animated video about how all the legendary Pokemon um, fought each other and it just destroyed the entire universe because. Oh, lovely. That's how, mm-hmm. that's how powerful they're supposed to be. And it's just like, wait, according to lore, then yeah, this is. This is right. They're wrecking everything. Can um, I can I tell you all something that I do in Pokemon games that I a couple months ago realized uh, uh, highlights how uh, deranged I am, um, or dedicated of a fan, and and we're Passionate. gonna get to dedicated in a second, in a while, so hold on <laughs> no. to that one. Uh, ever since Heart Gold, I remember Heart Gold specifically. Uh, I have refused to use any Pokeball but the normal Pokeball, wow. like at all. Um, I caught Ho with a Pokeball. How many? A lot. <laughs> uh, well, one Ho, but a lot of Pokeballs. Um, and I played all of X and Y, and I don't think I used another Pokeball. Uh, and all of Sword and Shield, and I only used Pokeballs. Um, what I was, respect that. As somebody who doesn't play a lot They're of cheaper. Pokemon. Yeah, like what was what is the point of this besides, I guess, them being cheaper? Economics. Well, <laughs> when you look at the Pokemon in the like the oh, bank no. or the box it shows you what pokeball you got yeah oh you caught them with, and i wanted them to all look the same <laughs> oh carry i didn't want people i didn't want people to look at my team and go you needed an ultra ball to catch an oddish <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather them go you caught a ho with a pokeball i mean that's fair Oddish is also one of my favorite Pokemon, so I absolutely would give it the best Pokeball. (laughs) So real quick, real quick, lightning round, favorite Pokemon. Oh, God. Who's Bulbasaur? Oh, Pikachu. I'm fucking basic. I guess Pikachu, but I guess uh, to be different, Oddish. Mine is Sandshrew, but only only because of in the first season of Pokemon. Oh, my God. Like... AJ, the wild Pokemon trainer, had a had a Sandshrew that could like swim, and that blew my mind as a kid. I was like, "Yo, he now, mind you, you know, like thinking about it in retrospect, I think he was a little bit too hard on his like Pokemon. Yeah. Like he had a whip, and I'm like, I don't think that's acceptable anymore. That, that episode like, the didn't age great. <laughs> um, a lot of the no. like heart behind it, I think, did you know? Like they did have a bond, but I. It went a little too mm-hmm. far. It went a little too far. Mm-hmm. But then his Sandshrew did a move that, like, I don't think you could ever learn in the game. What is it? Fissure? He's so. like, yeah. Sandshrew, use Fissure. Hit it till the ground splits. I don't even know what he says in the <laughs> show, but, like, I just always thought that that was, like, a cool episode where a mm-hmm. Sandshrew could swim in water. It was, yeah, it was great. That was my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, I, I didn't think about it till now, but it probably burned, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. Issa, going back a second, when you're talking about like what like what you kind of want out of that game, it almost sounds like you want a game that is closer to like Ash's story. Because he basically went out of his way to do shit not normally. Like he beat a gym by knocking a sprinkler system and like <laughs> like he befriended the Pokemon and not necessarily did a good battle weaken them and then caught them. He didn't use a whip on them. He uh, he saved that Charmander. Let me think. And that Charmander did not want to accept him, no. but he saved it. No, he he mm. he wore that Charmander down like a 
like a nerdy kid in high school. <laughs> oh See, I don't God. think be- people could ever befriend Pokemon and have them work with them willingly. Like, I think animals, or not animals, humans are just savages and will capture Pokemon by any means necessary. Mm. Like, would you otherwise. like a gun? Free, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to use don't think, the gun. I'm going to reject your head Wait. cannon, though. I don't think it could happen. <laughs> Isa, do that That's one more time, Isa. Oh, oh man. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all your Pokeballs. <laughs> exactly. It's about the intimidation. Y'all seen Always Sunny. It's the implication. But instead, it's oh, God. Oh, God. gun. Isa, Isa, put the, please, Isa, <laughs> yeah. put the gun down. Take, I'm take more my wallet, than not you. my life. All right, Isa, I'll get in the take tiny my wallet, red white ball. Life. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll battle you. when you want me to. Who, who should I hit? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sword, <laughs> shield, and gun. <laughs> which by the way super quick from the first season of the anime like the episode where he lets go of his butterfree oh, don't. Ugh, oh so sad i can't i can't i can't do that i can't it's like oh, i'm grown and i still can't watch that reminds it reminds me wait I have, sorry i have one more pokemon story related hell yeah um, please for some reason i was talking to my partner this weekend about um uh, old pokemon toys i had i don't know how we got to this conversation um but also look at my cat there he is oh no <laughs> There he is. Yay! Look how ominous oh my God. he looks. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so we're talking about vintage toys, and careful. I was like, <laughs> I was talking about, um, uh, y'all remember the Hey You, uh, no, I Choose You Pikachu, the talking Pikachu toy. Yes, that was yeah. my favorite. I, I remembered it, and I was like, oh, that's what true joy felt like. And so I <laughs> bought one off of eBay this <gasps> weekend, and I'm going to get it soon. And when I do, I will bring them on. Wait, is that? I'm, it was a toy. Are you talking about the N sixty four game? No, it was a well, it was a game, but it was also a toy. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Yeah, that it, it, it would. Uh, it's probably like about this big. He would clap his hands, and his cheeks would light up, and his ears would wiggle. And he oh stopped. my god, it's so cute! And it's like it's like the round fat Pikachu, not the like best the best Pikachu. The best Pikachu, the, yeah. exactly. So that was my like um, Pikachu splurge. Pikachu, yeah, my splurge. Is it weekend. a plush or is it like like is it like what is it made yeah. of? Is it like, a Furby? It's kind of like a Furby. A oh, I like Furby. it less now. Like, he is soft, but he obviously has, like, mechanical parts on the inside, so he'd be kind of hard I to cuddle. That's all that matters. Pikachu. Totally. <laughs> and the commercial's the best. It's all, I was watching it this weekend. Aww. I had the, uh, the N6. Oh, I, oh, I might have had this, too. I remember this. He is, like, that's not, like, he looks like a fat Pikachu. <laughs> he's so I good. He's so that. cute. He really does. Uh, I, I type out I have you Pikachu instead of I choose you. I have you. <laughs> I have you now Pikachu. <laughs> when I, get him, I typed in oh, hey I you Pikachu. Oh I love this one. I See okay this. y'all I'll have to go on eBay and buy uh, your I choose you Pikachu toys. I've oh used. I'll, br- I'll buy the broke 1990. I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I had the N64 game where you would like talk into a microphone. Yep I remember yeah. that. Uh, oh it, I love that one. I loved it until my friend spoke to my Pikachu, which I had developed a great bond with, and he took the mic from me, and he said, fuck you, Pikachu. And Pikachu <gasps> got sad. Did Pikachu pull out a gun like he said it? I, I almost pulled out a gun <laughs> on my friend. I wouldn't do that, but I was, I got, I got sad, and I just was like, I can't, I can't even look at my Pikachu anymore. <laughs> so ashamed. So he's just living on my N64 cartridge. That's probably a fate worse than death, huh? Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. I'm I'm so I'm like so not present because I'm just looking at this I choose you Pikachu toy and I'm like so close to crying because he's so cute. Right? Can, can we link it so they can show it? I there put is! Some pictures in Look the Discord. That. Oh, I love. Oh. I just just love talking about everything. it made me feel the like remember all these like good fuzzy childhood memories that I really needed, especially Pikachu. after these past two weeks. <laughs> I want to see that commercial because that looks like it's from the commercial. It's, it, it is, does, it's, yeah. and it's pretty fucking dope. Is it weird that you can just like <laughs> look at a, a picture and go, "That was from a '90s commercial, huh?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if it's got a ring pop in the in the, yeah. in the image, it's from the, it's from the '90s. If it's got Dunkaroos, Dunkaroos. Or... <laughs> if there's a group of kids coming in from playing, yes, I want that purple stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Um, does anybody have any more Pokemon things? Because I want to talk about something before we run out of time. We're good. I can keep going. So like, <laughs> let's Please. let you do. Let's let you transition. Well, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, Look, we can always go back to, to Pokemon. Let's be clear. Uh, Aaron, <laughs> what yes. the fuck is crypto art? Oh, God. Tell us. So I'm definitely not the expert on crypto art. Aaron I tried Wynn, to... crypto art expert. Oh, God, no. Crypto art expert. Uh, 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 I tried to look up into this before we started, and oh, God, there's so much to read about and before I'm... before you find it is is crypto art is is it drawings made by like a bigfoot or by like that would be a cryptid, art. God, I... <laughs> cryptid yes. art okay all right let me write that down Hold on. <laughs> not wish. to be confused right. with the thing i patented for my gun called the cryptid dart um <laughs> extra d in there be careful um what about the crypto fart though Oh, no! I like that. Uh, oh, Tyler, no, cut this out of the episode so I can make that <laughs> crypto fart. That is that the whoever smelt it dealt it like yeah. like you don't know where it that's came from. Cryptic fart. That's it. Cryptic fart. Yeah, I think we all farted. That game, that that one doesn't work when you try it in public. <laughs> um, Aaron He's pulls out the gun. Pretend right. that we're stupid. Wink. Oh God. What's cri- uh, what's crypto art? I gotta. Do you buy it at the crypto mart? <gasps> yes okay so from Do you put it in a crypto card and, stop <laughs> uh, from an article i found online it's basically rare digital artworks sometimes described as digital trading cards or rares what? Uh, associated with unique and proverbial rare tokens that exist in, in, on the blockchain uh and mm. i don't want to go into the blockchains and stuff because i don't fully understand them but basically no one really does it's, yeah. Crypto art is digital art that you can buy with tokens. And before you go, hey, Aaron, why don't I just take a screenshot of these rare images and then say I own them? Well, it doesn't work like that because you have to buy a token to say that you own the crypto art, I guess. Hmm. Um, but who can it's check kinda like the a li- token? It's kind of like a license. And these okay. licenses are like <laughs> limited or can be limited releases. So that it'll be like uh, only 200 available. Um hmm. And I saw this pop up recently. Oh, yes. So Beautiful. I found this example okay. of a rare. This is a rare Pepe <laughs> card art. Oh um, do we want to take any guesses at how much this sold for? Oh, no. By the time of writing Krusty article, Burgers. Which is a little bit old. I'm, I'm, are we... I'm guessing 500 Krusty Burgers. Uh, okay. if only. I was going to be like, are we, are we limited to a currency? So we uh, can do any currency. U- USD. USD. Okay. okay. How much we think it sold for or how much it should sell for? How much you think it sold for? Who? 64,000. Okay. Oh my god. Because you're asking, $1. I'm going to say 150,000. Ooh, dang. Dang. Lisa? 10,000. Okay. Good okay. spread. I'll do lo- a low Noel ball. was the closest. Okay. This sold Boom! for $39,000. But I technically overbid you did, so you're the closest. one though. That's fair. Um, I, like I just rules. don't get because we all have it now, and everybody no, watching. No, but you don't, own, it. you don't <laughs> technically own it. Like, yeah, you can say you saw it, and you can take a screenshot and save it to your computer, but you don't own it. What if Kinda I print like it how, out? I mean, you could go to the um, uh, like the Mona Lisa, for example. You could mm. go and like print out your own Mona Lisa and be like, "I have it right here." Nay, yeah. nay, it's up in some museum somewhere, and that yeah, is like the original. True. That's, mm-hmm. You just have a copy of it. Yeah. Um, and for some reason, this past weekend or so, I guess crypto art has, like, exploded. Uh, so I'm seeing a lot of people on my timeline on Twitter, like, starting to hop in on it. Mm-hmm. Which is mm-hmm. interesting. Because... Hmm. How does one make it? You just... I, I, I didn't have time to go into that. Like, anybody... <laughs> that's the one thing I do find interesting. It kind of goes into that modern art aspect where it's kind of challenges what can be art right um Mm. so a lot of like amateur or non like professionally trained art or like artists right are hopping in on this uh and creating their own works to be sold so it's like anybody can do it and it kind of like it's a better way to support artists i guess um and depending on like what currency or like where it's bought from artists can kind of get a larger portion of the pay it's it's interesting i just feel like it falls apart when you don't have a tangible thing yeah that's i kind of feel like it's a like a guy online like you know you just buy pixels Uh, for your digital avatar like clothes 
Uh, I, yeah. I'd like to say I was I was confused before, and I'm confused after. I mean, I can show you more examples of uh, some crypto art. So I, the big thing that was on my Twitter feed in relation to the crypto art discussion is mm-hmm. actually just how much energy it takes up yeah. to uh, even do all of this. I mean, it's like, I can't say that I understand fully why mm-hmm. it takes up so much energy in order to run all these things, but it's kind of like Bitcoin farming or whatever it is yeah. where you just need it's like all like these the servers. It's the creation of the art itself. It's the use of blockchains and like right. uh, purposely overly complicated math that these like servers have to perform. And there's like some tweets of like how one piece of art. Oh God, I can't find I have too many tabs open. Yeah, now. I think like I saw one that. Piece it basically of art, means you can't find a graphics card Yeah, it like uh, yeah. sold, like the energy needed to sell that was like 40 years worth of like the population of London or something. Oh it was some crazy God. bullshit, yeah. So it's like, not to get like political, but it is like kind of going into that, hey, is this like good for the environment sort of thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's Mm -hmm. some more crypto art. I think in relation to that as well, where you're talking about like, it's an interesting discussion on what drives art it's kind of like a since we all got into stocks recently yeah Yeah. it's like this stock market with gamestop after a certain point you realize that people in society are the ones who uh judge what the worth of something is Mm -hmm. and it's not actually noted or denoted by anything objective it is it is literally by like human representation or human thought and sometimes human thought is really fucking weird yeah (laughs) Uh, or I just don't, we don't agree with, with each other about what exactly is valuable mm-hmm. and like what should have value. Um, that is an interesting yeah. thought. Also kind of reminds me of like gotcha games. Like you're just paying actual money for digital or the chances <clears throat> to get a digital image of a digital waifu. And I wow. personally, Way I'm not going to find Cole much in the chat while he's yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> Cole in the chat. Right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. Yeah. He actually, in chat, he did ask me, and this is obviously open to anybody, uh, if there was a unique Pokemon that only one person could have, would you want it? And the answer is yeah, because I'd have the only yeah. Pokemon that's real, because you just made a real Pokemon. <laughs> no, I mean, I I always think about the other day, too, uh, like, you know, like the whole thing in Yu-Gi-Oh, where it's like, there's only four blue eyes, white dragons. Mm-hmm. What if card games actually did that? I think people would die. I think people would oh, murder each yeah. other for cards. I oh, really I mean, do. That's already like I've seen. I would for an Exodia. Some yeah, people, like I certainly would. Hardcore collectors of like actual cards right now. You. Like there's Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. and Pokemon card c- collectors. But the thing is, they have like a physical object with like that, crypto that's... art. I don't. I get it, but it's not my thing. I don't know. I wish. I wish that like. Mixing a little Dragon Ball Z into this scenario here, <laughs> mm. Carrie. So I, I wish that if like I had to I had to scout and go across the world to collect all the different pieces of Exodia. <laughs> and then the moment I used it in a game, mm. it would then shoot into the sky and spread apart. And like literally you'd have to redo it. Like <laughs> that's the only way I would I, I would actually um want that to happen. Like that would be great. Oh, like the Dragon Balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I did. My brain was already gone, and it was already understanding what I was saying. <laughs> no, but I, yes, I got you. after after you play Exodia and you obliterate your opponent, the 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 cards now physically fly into the air and then shoot off into yeah. different directions. You no, know, I would I would try to find Exodia or the Dragon Balls if I really wanted to achieve world peace. Yeah. <laughs> or just I mean, never mind. I was gonna make a bad joke. I, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Guns. It was. <laughs> It would bring back the obviously like something that I feel like just isn't real anymore, which is like adventuring. Mm-hmm. Like oh, yeah. we, have Google, we have Google Maps yeah. now, you know. It is like, true. We know where and shit Zillow. is. I guess it, is that. Are we just talking about geocaching at this point? Yes. Is this what geocaching? Do you remember? Do you remember before Pokemon Go when when the game was you just went to Google Maps and you had to find the random Pokemon that was just randomly somewhere in ecuador does anyone remember no. this no 
this was like before Pokemon Go. Yeah, like like Google just had this whole situation where yeah, you just Wait. went on Google Maps and you just had to like zoom out or I don't know how you would find it because I literally tried for five minutes and was like, this is not the Pokemon I wanted. <laughs> no. But like yeah, it was it was before before the whole like Niantic situation. Yeah, Google it, Google it. I'm I'm sure I'm not dreaming this up. I'm no, fine. that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> is this like a Bernstein Bear situation? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you if you say it enough, with it's enough Bernstein. confidence, I'll believe anything. So <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think there's another aspect that people like of it being, um, again, challenging the like the norms of what can be art. Uh, right. I guess a lot mm-hmm. of it's become like kind of meme status now. So there's a lot of like crypto oh, yeah. meme art. Um, mm. The huh. a, a non, a non a non being anonymous, <laughs> um, uh. and it's very pro artist. And this article I'm reading references uh, dankness. As being dankness. A, yeah, as being I was a, about to say I can get behind all of that, and then you yeah. said dankness, and now I. <laughs> and now you just uh, you thinking I'm about it. Yeah. how Tracker. old I am. Uh, yeah, Tracker. digitally native, geographically agnostic, democratic slash uh, permissionless, decentralized, anonymous, met- uh, mim- mimetic. M- mean? Yeah, I don't know how mim- it. I, guess, uh, I think it'd be mimetic. Wow. Self-referential, mimetic. uh crypto patrons, pro artist, and dankness. So Dang if you're interested right. in any of those, maybe crypto arts for you. But Is maybe like consider a new, like... the environmental impacts of it. Yeah. <laughs> Is, is this like the same when you were saying that i was just like is that the new v for vendetta like motto kind of yeah. thing? <laughs> but for like crypto art remember I remember mean, this be... dank jpeg i have <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure there's crypto art um um mr vendetta out there uh, there has <laughs> mr. to be vendetta. I, I know so little about that. I, I just assumed that that yeah. was actually his name until this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, yes, Gary, that is his name. Yeah. Don't you hear me say oh, it with man. confidence? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something on term. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, have, uh, has Banksy weighed in? Oh. This seems like up his question. alley. Did Banksy do this? He's a scam. <laughs> See, that's, the a, thing, it's been, that's a better question. Yeah, crypto art's been Where around. Where is Banksy? Oh, I think Banksy is just crypto art. Like it's why is Banksy? Yeah. I think Banksy's uh, kind of like Batman. Banksy just exists. When I was the symbol. looking it up, crypto art's <laughs> been around since 2017. Hmm. Uh, oh. I don't have time to read this article, but it does sound like Banksy and Satoshi Nakamoto are. Yeah, it sounds like they're making something. Oh, interesting. Which that Satoshi person, if I'm not mistaken, is the like mysterious we don't know if this is a real person or not uh, who like kind of maybe i'm just talking out my ass but it's supposed to be like one of the originators of like bitcoin but no one knows if this is a real person oh, or not so i don't know i, I googled him and there's pictures we're on to something where in the world is carmen san diego <laughs> oh, that's our okay. next i don't moment. think it's actually him who's this random old japanese man <laughs> who is that are you doing <laughs> satoshi cone is that what's happening uh, no <laughs> no um uh, if you go to, chat. Like, if you just Google it, uh, in the yeah. right side, there's pictures of him, but then when you go to the Wikipedia page, that picture's not there, so... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Um, some, uh, Bruno in chat, Noel says that, uh, that Pokemon thing you're talking about was a Google Maps April 1st, uh, oh. April Fool's prank. Oh. So, they very fooled good. us. April's, I see. Yeah, it's a good prank. Us. The prototype. Uh, well, I guess this is the best time to announce that, uh, Ruby Volume 9, uh, will be a, uh, crypto art exclusive for the first, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, frame at a time. And you, Money, you, please. Yeah, we need everybody to buy a frame, and you can piece them together in the community, and uh, it'll bring it's us like a all puzzle together. Too. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. Money. World peace. Uh, <laughs> Money. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of I Have Notes. Want to point people real quick? Uh, we are still doing an amazing uh, 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 Black Heritage Month. Uh, it's the Black Excellence Charity Capsule uh, merch. I I've messed up the title so bad, but there's some really cool merch. <laughs> uh and uh so again the proceeds sexy. benefit the austin area urban league um uh i think it's really cool i i was able to get a couple pieces i got that as a sticker it's really cool yeah me too um it's amazing art and uh buying it goes to a good cause so what more could you ask for um and uh yeah up 
next uh tomorrow is uh staying in with ken no oh, mess that up staying in with ken uh staying <laughs> in with caden uh and uh yeah we will see you next week for more notes and crypto art and pokemon pokemon uh crypto pokemon <laughs> thanks. uh thanks everybody bye bye